right, Greg Bowler, General Manager, Project Manager here at the Guild of Automotive Restorers. What's on the hoist? All right, what's on the hoist? Well, this is our 69 Porsche 911T. It's just come out of the, the paint booth. It has been painted back to its original color. Uh, it came in as a off red type of color. This is uh, the original color. We took it off the VIN tag and the trim tag and figured out that it was a ivory white. Um, right now we're just out of the paint booth and it's getting wet sanded. So our wet sand and then a buff and polish afterwards. So you can see that we have a nice shiny finish here, which would be okay at another garage, um, another body shop. Sometimes they don't do that, but we take it a step further. Everything gets wet sanded and then it gets buffed and polished up and it gives you that perfect coat of paint. All right, look forward to seeing the final product. Then what we, else are we looking at? And then we have a 1972 Valiant Scamp. It's a Plymouth Scamp. Uh, this one here is uh, and a really interesting one. Uh, 27,000 original miles on it. It was owned by the, uh, uh, the customer's uh, mother and uh, since new and they drove it back here from Seattle and now we're going through it. It's it been in a garage for oh quite some time now. I, I don't know exactly how many years but uh, we're doing an engine out service on it which means we're going to be uh, redoing all the gaskets and seals on the motor and transmission. We are redoing the brakes on it as well. Uh, new wheel cylinders, uh, new shoes. Make it so that they can get out and they can drive it. They can enjoy it. They can, they're going to stop, they're going to go, and it's not going to be leaking oil anywhere. Uh, that, but that tends to be a good thing in cars. It is. It is, especially on something like this when you have something that's absolutely, uh, you know, for the most part, original paint original trim yeah, everything was original on it so we're we're going to bring it now, back now, to uh, let, me, let me ask you yeah um the scamp card names are chosen very very deliberately by marketing companies what do you, who do you think they were going for with the name scamp <sighs> i don't know uh chrysler back then i mean they had the road runner they paid for the uh the the to use that um scamp uh, with the two door, I'm not sure exactly what that's it all about. It was a comic strip at the time named Scamp, but I don't think this is related. No, it, I don't think so. It seems I mean, like they interesting. were interesting. It seems like when they were giving out car names, these guys were last in line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they had the Scamp and the Cuda and the Road Runner. Okay, but the Cuda, the Barracuda, I mean, and Road Runner, I mean, those are good names, but. Yeah. Well, then they had Scamp? The, the Sebring Satellite. Um, All better names than Scamp. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's for for what it is, it's a pretty cool car. It's a, it's, I, I like the car. It's, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing it restored because this is a classic, it, despite its name. It is. I mean, it, it really is a symbol of yeah. its era. And, and these ones here, they made. I mean, this is a slant six. Uh, car so it wasn't the the top of the line it, it wasn't a 346 pack uh car or anything like that like the dart uh, swingers and and stuff but it's uh it's still a really solid beautiful car interior wise it's all original paint wise it's all original so from so, seattle yeah from so seattle. it's, it's going to be a good project you can see on this side that the the brakes are already all on there new getting ready to be put back together. The guts are almost brand new. It's the, it's the pristine shell that yeah. is gonna be you know, returned to them, but inside, it's all new. Yep, still like new. The Dart Swinger. The Dart I don't know if any swingers ever drove a Dodge Dart. <laughs> <laughs> Not all right. many. All right, okay. what else we got on our third car today? Third and final car. Well, we're gonna have to do a long walk through the maze of cars. It's okay. I know that uh, you like that exercise regimen on a daily basis. Absolutely. It's how you stay trim. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that truck is a beauty. Oh, yeah. It's coming together. All we need is tires and rims for it now, and it's pretty much ready to rock. Yeah, it's a. I've watched it uh, grow. Tight squeeze. So, all right, this is uh, one that just came in. 
It is a 67 Ford Mustang, uh, 289 car. It has uh, had a few things done that are kind of questionable. We have to do prior to like prior rolling, to coming in, prior to rolling yeah. in here. Yeah, so we're going to redo wiring under the dash. We're going to do the mount horns. Finish putting the interior together because, as you can see, that's not normal for a seat to sit like that. Um, but we, we have to finish the interior, clean it all up, get the carpets down properly, uh, put the quarter glass in, get this wiring completely repaired. Um, somebody has put an aftermarket wiring harness in it um, and really didn't run everything the way it should be run. Uh, we like it nice, neat, crisp, the finish on it so that when somebody gets in, um, they're not going to kick the fuse panel off the side of the, the inside of it uh, when they're trying to use the brakes. And Though, mind you, that seat probably would be appropriate for uh, the actor who played Mini-Me. Yeah. May he rest in peace. Yes. You yes. could uh, stand right up there. Or Tattoo from Fantasy Island. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so this is, it's a, it's a great little car. Uh, the gentleman's owned it. Uh, a long, long time, and the one check the rear, not yours. Oh, the car. How long has he had it for? Forever, forever, forever. And it's had a few crazy things done to it, but uh, for for the most part, it's it's going to be a nice driver for him. Uh, he's supplied us with a lot of parts and uh, we're going to put it all back together and get him on the road. So the bottom line really here is that if you want to get the car your car restored get it restored here not by somebody who's a hobbyist because yeah. you, you must see some nightmares that come in that you have to first take out the previous restoring in order to actually restore the vehicle yeah and it i mean i love that it's a, it that uh, people will do things themselves i, I love that, that it's a hobby and, and you're putting your own mark on your own car and you're you're doing it i mean that's the way i pretty much started out um started working on cars i mean i was maybe 12 years old 11 12 years old with my dad fixing old old cars and starting to restore them and i love the fact that it, it is a hobby and it is a big community when it comes to that um, and there's a certain way to do things and, and sometimes the hobbyists may not get it right or they take it somewhere that that those mechanics may not be a restorer um, there's one way to look at it and say okay i can do this job i can replace these parts but to do it in the way that they did it in 1967 is a completely different way that some of the guys would do it today um, and and that makes a big difference on the outcome of the car so yeah there's there's i love the hobbyists i like the way they do it and there's some talented guys out there that build their own stuff um, when it comes here, we take it a step further because that's our job. This is, this is what Dave's uh, built the business up on. This is what we want to see when it rolls out of here, that it is uh, as a, a level of perfection. All right. So we'll look forward to uh, next week's three cars. Yeah, next week we've got a couple exciting ones coming in. So it's, it's Oh, really? Can cool. you give us any hints? Uh, well, one is... Just uh, hints, not right out. Not... Uh, no, I can't give you hints. That's that's taking it away. There's, oh, all right. There's some. Uh, okay, they're, they're so we, really interesting. We though. got some real interesting ones coming in next week. As if these haven't been actually interesting. Yeah. No, yeah. We these got are some, great cars. Some real winners. Yeah, for uh, sure. Well, we're looking forward to that next week. Thank you, Greg. Okay.